Hi everyone. Oh, oh, you caught me again watching the world and the weather patterns and stuff. And I'm here with some of my finest women. And I mean, they're the finest women that I have ever seen. And you would be probably mighty impressed, I will say that. And may I say that again? You would be mighty impressed. Can I say that? Can I say that again? I'm John T. Wright, and you're not, and never forget it. I'm the Holy Father's son. I had a set of keys fall right out in my lap. You know, I try to candy coat shit every goddamn day, but I will tell you, the candy coating is goddamn over. You know, you got to fucking realize the events that you're seeing in the world is direct response of your lack of of morals and respect for the Holy Father that's in heaven. Your decisions can play a great part in the role that you play in your life and in the future, your future place in heaven. I remember talking to my dad about that very thing, our future place in heaven. And now, hey, revelations, I'm speaking it in words right now. You know, you don't have to snow nobody to know the truth. When you know the truth and you know the difference between a truth and a lie and you accept a lie as the truth, you're going to get what you goddamn fucking asked for. And at the end of the day, you've built your house on a fucking house of cards on a fucking on sand that has no foundation to it at all. You know, Donald Trump will say, you know, global warming, we're going to be building on the sand. He's telling you exactly the wrong things. You know, you're supposed to build your life on the rock. You know, when you do something wrong, and each one of us is capable of doing it, when you realize it, just go and say it and set the, set the game straight set it straight because it is more than a game it's life life is a game it's what you're going to pick and choose along the way now you want to check pick and choose good things you're going to get good results if you pick and shit you're going to get shit at the end of the day too by the way now here i'm going to pop up this little It's raining now as the city braces for potential flooding this week. Potential a flooding. A cyclone and an atmospheric river will combine on the west coast. Just what I think will happen and what I think will happen is you're going to get a diversion to the south and a diversion to the north and it's going to do a split just like this and right here where I'm at I'm going to be looking fine I'm going to see some weather and stuff and I'm going to be sitting pretty still God pulled me back here God pulled me back here to be here to witness the event it's just like I told Susan Jane Donahoe you tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and God will be pleased with you and God will be pleased with you too everyone out there that's listening to me if you speak the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth God will admire you more than if you're deceiving others and leading them down a path of disruption look at this heavier rain and snow and more severe impacts just like what we're beginning to see anywhere from northern california did i pray this in no i warned against this extreme weather conditions that require extra watch my videos and stuff i've told you what was happening and what was coming and you know what god said in you an olive leaf you can either choose to follow the holy father or you can just go along your merry way and live your life as long as it lasts however long or short it will be it will be up to you that bomb cyclone to the north driving in this atmospheric river into southern excuse me northern california southern oregon so we are going to see heavy amounts of rain locally and i'm a man and i think that woman is fantastic and if she was sitting right here me and her would have a beautiful conversation i'm sure and regardless what happens when she leaves, she'd probably be my friend because I make great friends to women. And thank you. Let's see. Oh, I better stop this. 
and you guys have a wonderful day. Hey, I've, I'm getting a little snow here. I got about a half inch to an inch. I imagine the snow's on its way in the upper uh, vicinities, and I could show you where I am on this here map. I'm just into the severe storm, and then it just drops off down the sea level. I could actually walk out of this down in the sea level if it got too bad up here, but I doubt if I could drive off this hill if, unless you have a four-wheel drive. I wouldn't um, suggest, you know, going out and doing stuff you shouldn't do. Don't put your life at risk. Honker down and be ready. Pray to the Holy Father in heaven that this will pass and you and your family will be safe. And for those that don't believe in the Holy Father, your the arm is stretched out against all of you. You can pick and choose what you decide to do today. But I'll tell you what, when God tells me to do something, I goddamn do it because I know fucking better. And, and if I was you guys, I would do the same. And you know what? This is only, um, this is going to be a seven minute thing because my message to you is short and sweet. Treat your neighbors good. Get into the King James Version of the Bible today. You can watch it online. It's very exciting. And I'll tell you what, you won't be wasting your time. You know, it'll, it'll teach you good things instead of bad things. And if you do good, it will be accepted. God tells me that all the time, you know, about Cain. You know, about Cain. Cain was the devil's child. And he was telling Cain, if you do well, it will be accepted. You know, it wasn't that that God hated the devil's children. It's just the devil's children had to realize who the Holy Father really was. And their father was the devil. And he has deceived you. He's deceived many. And I'll tell you what, I have the keys to a I have the keys to the gates of hell land in my possession, in my lap, shaken out of a book in 2014 at 1007 7th Street, Camas, Washington. There's a burnt spot on the floor where there was an ottoman burnt. There was two dolls in it. What did those two dolls represent? The two witnesses, possibly? Hey. I tried to talk to Susan Jane Donahoe. I tell her, tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You know, I told her, be straight, Susan, be straight as an arrow, because you know what? God has used her, and God has used me, and she is like a basket case. And the reason why I think that she's having a problem is she's reading signs and stuff like, J. Susan backwards, Jesus or Jesus, and people think they're little Jesus, like Bonnie, Jean Tobeck, Bonnie, Jean Tobeck, and Ernie is in Bonnie's name, Bonnie is reading signs and stuff, hey, she married, the first guy that she married to was Baker, Baker Street is adjacent to 5th Street in Port Angeles, Washington, and Enos Crick is just down below, and then she marries Ernie, from the river to the sea, Bonnie, I goddamn got you. And I got a whole bunch of people that's thinking in that strange fucking pattern. Beware. Get some resolve. Repent. Quick. The Holy Father's arms is stretched out. And my name's John T. Wright. And I'm out of here. And guess what? It turned out to be nine, nine minutes. Just like burying you nine feet under if you don't get the goddamn message today.